Well, with all the snow coming down, there are a lot of people who've been working all night to try and clean it all up. This is Travis Dotson, got in at seven o'clock last night. He's been doing this for three years and he's given us a look at how the roads are looking right now. Roads are, they're covered and they are slick and because it's a wet powdery snow, it, it, it's real slick and it, and it um, compacts. I got out here at 7 p.m. That's when we start our shift. You must be tired. Uh, not that tired. I love my job. I love it. I love working for VDOT. It's great. Um, the people that I work for. So when does Travis get the finish? Not until 7 a.m. So uh, he'll be here throughout the morning making sure we're safe. In Chantilly, Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9. Well, it's going to be a very busy morning here for the folks at VDOT. Right now, I'm at their headquarters in Chantilly, where we've had trucks coming in and out all morning. This is where they pick up the salt for the major highways or the sand that go in some of the more residential areas. I spoke with the spokesperson for VDOT to get a feel for what their plan of attack was. My name is Ellen Kamalakis, and I'm a VDOT spokesman. Our trucks started moving around six o'clock last night uh, when the snow started coming down. The crews are moving and we're gonna continue moving. We have 14,000 lane miles that we treat in this district. Um, so um, we just ask people to give us a little bit of time. Just stay off the roads, period. And if you are gonna get on the roads, then yeah, stay out of the way. They are extremely heavy. Uh, they are carrying a lot of salt or a lot of sand. The trucks themselves are heavy, the blades are heavy, and they don't stop on a dime. Um, and if they make a lot of U-turns to get around to go back through another pass, we just ask you to be patient. This is perfect to stay home and make snowmen uh, and stay off of the roads. Uh, so this is your endorsement from VDOT to stay home and make snowmen. So again, the big warning from the folks at VDOT, stay off the roads so that they can get hard at work to get all the snow out of the way. Reporting in Chantilly, Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9. Well, it really is like a winter wonderland out here. The snow is continuing to come down here in Chantilly, and I wanted to show you what it looked like in some of the neighborhoods. So I pulled into a random one. This is off of Autumn Lane Court. As you can see, the snow is still coating here, probably a couple inches, and many people are actually just staying home. I'm seeing a lot of cars that haven't been touched, but what about the folks that don't have that option? I caught up with two people. First, there was this guy. He was driving his wife and son to work at a hospital. At, at the, the road is so slippery. The, uh, the snow is so, so thick, and they started uh, scraping the road just now. Then we have these two right here. They had a pretty tough night, honestly. Their cat got sick, so at 1.30 in the morning, they had to go to the vet. We're going to give him his pain meds, <laughs> and uh, we're going to go to bed. I'm going to see how long I can sleep for. Yeah, yeah just yeah. going to hibernate for the next... 12 hours. As for the roads, slowly but surely they are being cleared. I spoke to VDOT. They said they've got some 3,000 trucks that are out there shoveling this all out of the way. Reporting in Chantilly, Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9. Well, it's like a scene from a Christmas movie here in this small neighborhood in Chantilly. And while a lot of people are going to be sleeping in for sure on this snowy Sunday morning, there are a lot of people that are up digging out this morning. Take this man right here. I spoke with somebody named Marvin. He was shoveling out because he had to go to work. Then there was this man, Michael Murillo, who was not only shoveling his driveway, but his neighbors as well. Right now it's that soft snow. It's the ideal snow for snowboarders, but I'm out here because I don't want to dig up um, heavy snow. So I'm out here now while it's early. I didn't party last night. Meanwhile, you really do need to take it slow if you're driving. Take a look at what it's like from the driver's perspective. There is a good inch or so that's built up on a lot of these roads in the neighborhoods that maybe the plows haven't gotten a chance to get to just yet. So if you can, stay in on this Sunday morning, watch some football, and let the plow operators do their job. Reporting in Chantilly, Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9. Well, what a difference a couple of hours are making. This is Walney Road, and it's a step above a neighborhood road. And as you can see, the roads are looking great right now. Plows have come through and cleared it out. And this is the case in a lot of places around here in Chantilly. The big trouble areas are, in fact, in the neighborhoods where a lot of people are just waking up and just starting to dig themselves out. Yeah. If this was, was heavy, it would be a real problem. 
Let's start with Dwight here. Believe it or not, he's in his mid-70s. Yes, born in 1946, count it up. Today he's clearing snow so that his dog Chase can get out and do his business. Well, it's not too bad. Uh, it's light and fluffy. And I'm used to snow. I used to live in upstate New York. Oh! But here's the real question. How does this snow do for snowball fights? Like this one between Katie and Brendan. It's not the best for making snowballs, but it's pretty good. But the sledding, it's basically a disaster. Eli and Maria are challenging that idea. They're doing some sledding, or better yet, some surfing in their driveway. It's awesome. Yeah, it's so deep. Now, VDOT crews are going to be working throughout the afternoon. In fact, I'm told they have some 3,000 trucks that are out there treating the roads. They're going to be out there until they're passable all across Northern Virginia. Reporting in Chantilly, Evan Kozloff, WUSA 9.